What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra and what is that y'all in the background? What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra from Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we have a machine tutorial. Now Zebra, fuck you doing bro? Thought you did Studio One tutorials. I use Studio One, I didn't come to your channel for machine tutorials and you know what fam? I didn't want to do machine tutorials. But I find myself having to use machine um, for the, the lion's share of my beat production nowadays because Studio One still has um, CPU clipping issues. Fix it, Presonus. Fix it. Not going to dwell on that anymore. Just going to move on. So I find myself working with machine. I'm still going to do Studio One tutorials, guys. Studio One tutorials is still going to have premium memberships. With um, you know, I'm, I'm dropping a tutorial every week. I just I just can't work in it all the time. Like I, I need something a lot smoother right now. So I'm doing this quick tutorial for people who were maybe in my position. Maybe maybe they're going back to machine. I know I've told a lot of you to throw your machine away, and I'm glad that I didn't listen to my own advice. Well, actually, I did. I threw my machine away. I just bought an MK1 for like a uh, hundred bucks and um uh, i'm back and i forgot how much fucking fun this thing is dude like just like just the the workflow of of not doing everything with a mouse and a keyboard and having a controller and being able to do so much of the actual music work with your hands away from the keyboard and not looking at the screen is it, it, it's a big vibe change for me so i one of the things that 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 was really messing me up um that I, um, that I was having a problem with was the speed in which that I was um, browsing through my sounds and I wanted to be able to um, use 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 the browse key here rather than navigate uh, over to files and then uh, search my drive because the the machine actual browser is just um, not really as um, as 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 uh, as customizable as I was used to with the um, Studio One as far as using the mouse. So, you know, it, it's built for the controller. So in order to get your sounds to be able to um, access them through the browse key this is just really quick and it's everything like I, I i and it makes it so that you don't necessarily have to spend 50 bucks on a native instruments um pre-designed sound pack you can you know you could go ahead and tag your own so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and take the uh the oracle pack because um this is like just the hot the dopest fucking drum pack to me right now i'm going to go ahead and click on this click on this folder that says kicks and you'll notice that this import um button comes up and this is in the 2.5 version of the software so if i go ahead and click it it's going to give me a um this menu right here that's going that's going to tell me what i can um you know label this as so i'm going to go ahead and tag this as a drum library i'm going to tag it as a kick and um just just leave it like that i'm gonna go ahead and press ok and now you'll see if i go ahead and i press browse on the software and or on the controller and i navigate to uh, two sounds let's see here or if i navigate to samples rather and then i go to a different product i can go ahead and i can go ahead and select kicks and now all of the kicks that that I went ahead and tagged from the um from this uh, uh shit from the sound order oracle pack are right here which is awesome cuz now I can browse all these sounds with an actual knob as opposed to going like yeah, okay gonna go through here and it's just it's just doing like like doing shit with their software um with the mouse is annoying so you so you just have to take advantage of the of the actual controller and i've um 
I, I, I've actually I actually know people who produce in machine and they only use like the battery library and 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 the machine expansions because they just don't take the time to use this very simple function and, and you can go ahead and do this um, like I'm, I'm probably getting ready to spend about an hour just just organizing all of my sounds like uh, all of my different um, uh, you know, chants and, and lo fi vo vox hits and the stuff I downloaded on Splice and things of that nature because it's just gonna make it's just gonna make everything, you know, cool and real easy to work with. So um yeah, this is th this is my second day uh back working with machine, you know, like as as far as like getting the workflow down. You guys know I'm all about speed and efficiency. Um and any any tip that I could find um, using machine to make it to, to make it more efficient, I am going to share on this channel because it's what I do. So this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials.com. Don't freak out. This isn't going to turn into a machine channel. I just need Studio One to get up on their game and fix the CPU issue. We will see you on the next one.